Hello, hey, I'm going to show you how to make an Andy Warhol style portrait. I saw somebody do this using Photoshop. We're going to be using a free version here uh, from the internet called Pixlr. So open up a new tab, go into the Google search bar, and we're putting in pixlr.com. And up comes Pixlr. And you can make an account if you want, or you just use it straight off the internet. We're going to use Pixlr E. Um, it's a little more advanced. It has some more tools to use. I like that. And this opens up. And what I want you to do is open up an image. And so we're going to go here to the left side, open image. It's going to take you to places on your computer where there are photos stored. We're going to be using this big hair. Yeah, that's me. That's my big hair from a few years ago before I got it cut. Now it's going to tell me that it's very large. And so if your image is large, it's going to resize it for you and recommend it anyway. So I'm going to take its recommendation. I'm going to hit apply. And there it is. Now, what we want to do is focus on, because this is a portrait, focus on the head and shoulders. So I'm going to crop this a little bit because it has a bit uh, too much background. And uh, being Andy Warhol style, do things a little bit more close up. It is good uh, when you pick, uh, choose a face that you're looking at the camera um, as, as opposed to away, just if we're going to do it in that style. Okay, then uh, if you come over here, after using the crop tool and any tool that you're wondering what it is, just put the mouse over top of it and it will give you, uh, it'll tell you what it is. Marquee select, arrange. Right, we're going to use these scissors because it's going to cut out everything that we didn't crop. Now, over here on the right side is a little plus. I can make it a little bit larger, easier to work with. And here are layers. We're going to be using uh, layers. This is very important uh, for what we're going to be doing. And we're going to be making about five different layers. The first one, of course, is what is called the background. Uh, it's the original photo. Uh, come back over here to the left side of your tools. This looks like a little brush. It's the draw tool. I'm going to click on it. And oh, before I forget, hit layer, hit new layer. You're going to see over here, this pops up. It's highlighted blue. Right click on it. And then come over here and you can name it. Now, because I'm going to start in the background first. This is my own background. I'm going to put that for short. Uh, it'll label it, and then you'll see after having the five, it'll just help organize it, and you'll be able to see what you're what you're working with later on a lot easier. So, back over here, we have clicked onto this brush draw tool. These little um, details of it come up, and we're going to click on the brush type. We want it to be crisp, and there are different sizes. I found somewhere around 30, 50, 70. It depends on what size you're using for the picture. Because uh, we're going to be coloring certain areas of it, and 70 is going to work out pretty well. So you can play around with different sizes. Opacity, how see-through it is, you know, how opaque or transparent. We want to change that to about 60%. Because we still want to be able to see the original image through the color that we're doing. Lastly, you want to come over here to color. Now, if you notice, um, I already have the gray selected. I kept that uh, because I used this earlier. Yours might be something different. Just click on the color and choose whatever it is. Uh, I mean, you can do different areas of gray. That just seemed to be a pretty pretty neutral standard gray. I'm gonna hit okay. And make sure it's uh, what's on top. So if this is switched, you might have the secondary color on top and the grays, you'll be like, what's going on? So make sure you switch it and gray has to be on top. Okay, we are ready to color just the background. And so um, if you go out of the lines, not a big deal. Uh, Andy Warhol's style, of screen printing was such that uh, he, you know, that's just the way that the nature of screen printing worked. And so things weren't exactly crisp. Now, if you notice, uh, because this mouse pad is giving me some problems, I have to start and stop. And starting and stopping is causing this kind of double layer of color. So to be consistent, I'm going to keep doing that. If you're able to hold it down the whole time, whoa. Undo that little area right there, then it will be uniform, and that would actually be better. And look at that this first segment is going to end in 23 seconds, which is okay. Um, this is going to be the first part, we're going to do the second, second half here in just a moment. So, we've learned how to do the colors, how to get your image, how to crop, um, how to color the background. Second half is going to put all this together into the Andy Warhol style.